gonna make some coffee because it's only, uh, it's a little too early to have a wine spritzer. So I should probably try to speak with a German accent. This is how you are to make the German pancakes. See, I don't even know what I am. I think I could be partially Polish, a little Australian. Sugar, flour, eggs, milk, cinnamon. I need to let you know a little bit about the German pancake history. My grandmother was born in Germany. Her parents used to make pancakes for them, but because they were poor, they only had certain ingredients. My great-grandmother combined all of these ingredients and made these fantastic creations. One cup of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna put it in my hand dandy measuring thing. Oh, that coffee smells amazing. One cup of milk, using some almond milk. I have to wear my grandmother's apron. And it goes. Half a cup of sugar. It's very snazzy. <laughs> That's not working. One second. So where was I? I will use this. I will use one egg. Omegas. Yeah. That. Lots and lots of cinnamon. A ton of cinnamon. I'm still not done yet. Have you ever had a beaver tail in Ottawa? This is kind of what these taste like. I'm a big fan. One cup of flour, one cup of milk, half a cup of white sugar, one egg, a ton of cinnamon. You need to mix it. Grab your whisk. I'm going to show you. They are not thick. Horrible. You know, easy to pour. So that is what it looks like. Clean pan. The bigger, the better. The bigger, bigger, the better. The one I need had fish in it last night, so I'm gonna have to go do a little scrubby scrub. So, I have, oh, shoot. I have a batter in my tea towel. You're gonna have to put a ton of oil in there. See how much oil there is? See, see that? We have it set to a medium heat. You need funnels to make German pancakes. I bought this that this at the dollar store. Nothing's a dollar anymore at the dollar store. This is where the magic of German pancakes happens. Take a funnel. I'm learning how to speak German. You plug the bottom of the funnel with your fingers. To end a conversation, you would say tschüss. Tschüss. You pour the batter in. Please focus on the beginning of the word. And you're gonna go in a spiral. Oh, I think this one was too big. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. This, spot, this uh, thing was, this funnel might have been too big. Oh, maybe not. Guten Morgen. <laughs> and you'll see that what you have now is a pancake that looks like that. Guten Morgen. I'm gonna speak some German today, oh yeah. If you overcook it, it's gonna get crunchy. It's not to say it won't taste good, it'll just be a little harder to eat with a knife and fork. Okay, so we've still got it going here. We're just gonna have to do a little check on it and see if it's ready. So, we just need to get a little spatula. Uh, where's the spatula? So the spatula. We're just gonna give it a good little look just underneath. We're gonna lift up the edge just to see. Now, I'm gonna show you something. You can see it's kind of getting darker, but it's not quite ready. Then nine, eight. Seven, six, five. You'll get a sense that it kind of gets, it's not doughy anymore, it's not like pancake batter anymore on the top. I really like that I'm sharing German pancakes with you. They smell amazing. Here we go, we're gonna give it a good flip. Oh, <laughs> Flipping the German pancake is a sport of its own. Full paper towel. And what you do with this is you put it on a plate so that you set the German pancake on and all that extra kind of oil that you don't really feel good about eating gets sucked into the paper towel. But that's the very first German pancake. It smells so delicious. Am 
My grandma Franz is an amazing lady. She also taught me how to crochet. Who would have thought? Another great thing about the uh, German pancakes is that you really can't mess them up. So it's not like fudge. I suck at making fudge. I'm happy. I'm good at this. Um, there's, uh, Jackson. It's funny because I have a journal, and, uh, it's an old journal, and I hadn't written in it in a long time, and just last night, I, um, I opened it, and there was a poem that I wrote to my grandma, sugar and spice and everything nice always matches you. Because you're so nice, you couldn't be better because I just want to say I love you. You love me, you care for me, I go to bed and get scared, so you take me everywhere. I send you this letter because you couldn't be better just to say I love you. It's kind of uh, serendipitous to find this poem uh, the night before I'm making her famous German pancakes. So, mwah. I miss you, Grandma, and uh, to everyone who uh, watched this recipe. I hope you make it and just remember the amazing woman behind it.